Hello everyone, so I'm back with my second video that I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to upload tonight and it doesn't turn into a next day type of video. So in this video I'm going to kind of go off the beaten path a little bit and talk about Greek Wicca. Um, I have actually checked all of my videos I have done and I have not covered this topic so I'm going to cover it. So what exactly is Greek Wicca? Well, According to what I've discovered, Greek Wicca was actually founded in 1979 by an anthropologist, I can't pronounce his magic hell name, um, or his fake name, and it is, from what I have learned about it, because I like to learn about everything, um, it is an initiatory three-degree system and from the fact that he encountered a Alexandrian um, coven and was initiated into Alexandrian Wicca, my belief is that it is a form of Alexandrian Wicca. So, um, the reason that a lot of people who do practice it, um, no idea how many actually do it, um, can incorporate it is because unlike the Celts and the, and the heathens and, and all that, uh, we do know a lot about the Greeks. We also know a lot about the Romans. Um, um, so they can integrate the gods into that format. However, for those who do practice Greek Wicca, for people who practice Reconstructionism, um, prepare to get looks. And, um, unless you don't tell them that you're involved in Greek Wicca. Another thing about um, Greek Wicca is they actually do make it very abundantly clear that this is not Hellenism. So for those people out there that are kind of worried that they might consider themselves to be Hellenic, they do not. Um, a lot of people uh, from the websites that, are, that do have it, they say that it is basically a Hellenized version of Wicca, but they don't call themselves Hellenists and they don't, you know, they use the term Hellenistic Wicca. So, um, there really isn't a lot about Greek Wicca, mainly because the groups that are out there, they do keep it under wraps, and especially if the groups are in Greece. They definitely keep it under wraps because of the fact that um, the church does not like people who do not worship the Christian God. Of course, I do totally get why Hellenism has come back. If you look at the excess and and the and all the stuff that they do, it's um, understandable why it um, has come back the way that it has. Um, Greek Wicca really got in the forefront when that high priestess did her ritual. Um, I know that a lot of people heard about it. Um, it was um, because everybody's attention was on Athens, just like everybody's attention is on Rio for all the wrong reasons. And so she used the attention that the world was paying on Athens to come out and, and do this. I think there was doves involved. I'm not exactly sure, but there was I think there was doves involved. But um, for those people out there that um, are interested in Greek Wicca, understand that it is a initiatory um, tradition. However, my personal belief is because um, solitary work, work is very prevalent. I don't think there's any problem with an individual um, practicing it without being initiated. However, don't call it Hellenic because that will be an insult to the people that are doing this in, in Greece. Another thing that they recommend, and I do firmly believe this, is to read your Greek myths, Greek, read your history, read everything about Greece that you possibly get your hands on, and that will um, help you, just like it helps anybody who's in Hellenism. If you're interested in Hellenism, 
read your books on Greece, read about the mythologies, read about the gods and all that, and you won't be lacking in information. All right, so I'm there. Um, I don't know when I'll be back, but uh, I will be back at some point probably. Oh no, take that back. I'll be back tomorrow because I'm doing my um, my um, shrine for the month of June. So I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. So until next time, be well.